So today we're going to be checking out the new John Varvatos XX. So this one did come out in 2020, so last year at this point. But I'm going to be checking it out today. I'm going to tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and ultimately if I think this one is worth picking up. And this one is only currently available at retail prices, so any of your favorite uh, retailers that carry John Barbados fragrances should have this one in. Uh, places like Fragrance X and Fragrance Net do not have this one in quite yet, although I imagine they'll be getting stock of these soon. So I did purchase this one at retail, and as far as I'm aware, currently that's your only option if you want to go grab one for yourself is to pay that retail price which i believe is like 92 dollars or something or somewhere around in there which is a little bit painful a little bit hard for a john Varvatos, but i wanted to check it out and share my thoughts with you guys so that's what we're going to be doing here let's go and get started with this so one thing i do want to say is they did step it up with the bottle here a little bit i mean they added some nice detail and they usually do spice it up with the john Varvatos bottle so i will give them that when these are on discounters they are pretty cheap and you do get something that is a good quality fragrance a nice smell and a pretty cool bottle for example artisan pure and a couple of the other artisan fragrances has that kind of textured wicker feel to them uh, john Verbatos oud has a bit more of a hefty bottle with that gold uh, and there's a couple others that really change it up this one here obviously has the dangling medallion is that what you would call that dangling metal thing which is kind of obnoxious a little bit when you're trying to record a video but we'll have to live with it it is supported by a chain there and that is connected so it's you know pretty cool there's some detail around the cap right there so they did switch it up they did change it up it definitely looks you know pretty fancy pretty high end you see this sitting on someone's counter you're gonna think it's an expensive fragrance and at retail you know 90 100 dollars is pretty pricey but again once this one does hit discounters finding it in that 30 35 dollar range not going to be a bad pickup. So when you first spray this one on, what you'll get right in the opening is this nice red apple note. So it's nice and fruity, bright, but also quite a bit of a sweetness as well. A bit of a cardamom spice and a little bit of coffee immediately starts to come into play. This fragrance kind of starts to sweeten up pretty quickly. The apple itself is a sweeter apple note, the red apple. There's a little bit of black currant in there as well, which is also adding to the sweet, almost berried type of smell, this berry sweetness. Uh, so it does smell nice um, and also a very prominent sandalwood note that I get starting pretty quickly off the opening and following that into the mid all the way into the dry down. Pretty heavy sandalwood here. But it's also all about this nice sweet coffee note. Now this fragrance does sweeten up and it does remind me a little bit of something like Ferragamo Womo. Uh, that fragrance is a very sweet one and Womo Signature also adds in the coffee. And this is kind of similar to what you would get from something like Ferragamo Womo Signature and the original is just this kind of sweet, almost candied type of smell with a little bit of a coffee note and one thing I do always like to point out is with the fragrance like this and with the Womo fragrances with that coffee note you're not getting an ultra realistic coffee note it's not something like you would find in some Killian fragrances or some other higher end more luxurious fragrances it's a bit more toned down and it's really kind of the same thing with Halloween Man X that fragrance there utilizes coffee and you do pick up on it you do smell it just like in this and the Womo fragrances but it's not an ultra high-end coffee note. If you're someone who is a coffee fragrance enthusiast or perhaps a coffee fragrance snob, uh, you know, this is not going to really interest you all that much, but you do get a nice hint of it here and it does smell pretty nice. And what I found here recently, and this is just my kind of speculation and you know, what I've noticed as I've been trying these new John Vervedos releases is they have been sweetening them up. You know, I have most of the fragrances except for a couple discontinued ones like uh, John Vervedos Black is one I really want to get. I had to believe that one's a fresher one, kind of in the artisan line as well. Haven't had a chance to smell it, but it looks good. I have all of the other ones. I even have John Vervedos Platinum Edition, which is discontinued, but that one smells ph phenomenal. I don't know why they decided to let go of that one, or maybe it was a limited edition. I'm not too sure, but I have most of them, all the ones that you can get easily, and they all smell great. And a lot of them leaned more in the fresh direction, uh, Artisan Aqua, Artisan Pure, and even some of the originals, like the original Pour Ohm. While it does have some of those heavier notes, like the fur and stuff like that, it still does have quite a bit of a freshness to it. But I found like with this one here, the XX, and also the John Varvatos Nick Jonas Red, that fragrance, 
Uh, they've been trending kind of in the more sweeter direction, sweeter, almost borderline that bubble gummy type of smell. And really to me, it just almost seems like they're trying to move into more of what's currently trending, kind of the sweeter, more bubble gummy, poppy type of fragrances. And what I mean by that is just, you know, pop music, it's kind of everywhere. It's influencing a lot of things. And that's kind of what I think of when I smell these bubble gummy fragrances. I think of pop music, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, it's playing on the radio again cool and it's the same with a lot of the Invictus fragrances and things like that and even something with this similar DNA it's just kind of everywhere at this point so I think that's kind of what they've been leaning towards here and that's cool but for me you know it's not my jam I like the other Java Vados fragrances which do something a bit different at least for me personally I think this one while it does have a bit more of a uniqueness to it it's still not anything that just really impresses me all that much it does smell nice but if I'm going to reach for a John Varvatos it's going to be for really any of the other ones honestly I just don't really get along with this one as much as I was maybe hoping for. And again, it's because it just has a lot of that sweetness and that youthfulness. And I don't know, I just have a lot of other fragrances that are like that. And you know, even the Womo fragrances, which I've been talking about, which I draw a little bit of a comparison to, those smell great. I have uses for those. I don't really find myself as of right now seeing a real good use for this one. It smells nice, but at the same time, I have a lot of nice smelling things. And I don't really need anything else that's necessarily going to be just okay, you know, especially when I have a lot of other John Vervedos fragrances, which are really good. What I will say though, is this one is one of the better 2020 releases. Not that that's saying a whole bunch. Uh, for example, just recently I checked out the new, uh, the Scent by Hugo Boss, the Pure Accord fragrance. That one I think was not very good at all. This one's definitely better than that one. So, you know, that's a good news there. Uh, but it's still, it's just, I don't know. It, there's something about it, especially in the dry down where it just gets a little bit more on the boring side. I would have liked to see that coffee at a bit more of a higher level being used a bit more. I would have liked to see maybe the sandalwood toned back a bit and just maybe a bit of a different twist. Again, it smells nice, very pleasant but it's not anything that's gonna blow me away here. Performance is pretty good and it is a sweeter fragrance, so you would expect that it does last longer on the skin and it does do all right, about seven hours or so of longevity, which is good, especially for a John Barbados, which normally don't get that good of performance anyway. In terms of projection, it's a relatively mellow projector, uh, but and that's fine with a scent like this. It's a bit more warm, slightly spicy. That's cool. If I were to use this in a any situation, it would be more of an evening out scent. Uh, perhaps leaning towards a date scent um, and that's fine to have kind of a lower projection there. So performance is good, especially for a John Varvatos. Again, that's what you would expect. Obviously at the price point right now at full retail, you would want something better. But once it hits discounters and the price comes down to about $30, $35, that's pretty good performance. And again, like I touched on earlier in the video, quality on this is pretty good. It's a nice quality scent. There's nothing that is synthetic. There's nothing that is really all that unnatural smelling again when i was talking about the coffee note it's not the most realistic coffee note that's in fragrances but that's what you would expect from a designer fragrance especially when they do hit around that 30 35 dollar price point when it's all said and done that's just kind of how it goes and it does smell nice it gives a little bit of a twist on the fragrance and again for that discounted price that this one will fall at Quality is pretty good, just like with all John Varvatos fragrances. So go ahead and start to wrap this one up. My final thoughts on the new John Varvatos XX. It smells nice, it smells pleasant. It's just not really for me. It's not anything that I personally would go, ooh, I'm gonna wear John Varvatos XX today. It's just not. If I'm in the mood for John Varvatos, it's probably gonna be for John Varvatos Oud, Vintage, um, or something like one of the Dark Rebels or one of the Artisans, the Freshies. Uh, those are gonna be what I'm reaching for. I probably won't ever think of this one and think, ooh, I wanna wear that. For you, maybe this one will hit the spot and maybe it'll be something that you like and that's awesome. But for me, you know, I think they're kind of going in a bit of a different direction here with their new fragrances. I'm sure you guys maybe have noticed the trend as well. And, you know, I think they could do a little bit better but hey, it's still a pleasant scent and it is what it is. Given all the new releases we had last year, not very many of them, and the fact that they were all just kind of mediocre, it's about what you would expect for 2020. So hey, maybe they'll knock us out with another new release coming up here soon. So that's pretty much gonna do it for me, guys. That's my thoughts on the new Varvados XX. Let me know what you think down below if you've tried this one, and that's pretty much gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.